I think it's safe to say you played the stink out of this role. Where did you draw that from? Well, you know, I had watched all of the seasons of uh, the reality show, the one that Frankie did with Keisha, the one that she did with Nephi. And so I felt that I had a good sense of who she was. And unfortunately, I was also able to draw upon, you know, my own personal experiences because I've had crack addiction within, you know, my own family. How do you feel about when you read the script and you saw that Keisha was going to put her mother's story, you know, this high on her life story? Fans are going to love uh, the fact that Keisha's doing this this movie about her life. And I think like myself, so many people were glued, glued to the reality show. And perhaps... I think in a very kind of teaching kind of way that's so good to expose this kind of show because maybe so many people can relate in terms of perhaps their own history of addictions with themselves or members of their family. It certainly was one of the things that drew me to the show. And also, like I said, because of my own personal experiences, I kind of felt enthused about playing this character because I always... I always respond more to a, 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 a material and a character that I find particularly challenging. And playing Frankie was indeed challenging, <laughs> you know, because even though she lived a life of addiction and we know addicts lie, you know, they're, they're often belligerent and put themselves in precarious situations to feed their habits and sustain that lifestyle. I walked a fine line in portraying that seedy part of her life with the necessity that I felt to also be able to show her humanity, you know, that she wasn't just a crack addict, you know, that she had feelings, you know, she wanted to love and be loved. She had, you know, compassion. And so it was really nice to have those moments where you could see Frankie be able to display that love and affection toward Keisha. And also, um, express the deep uh, pain and sorrow that she felt for all of the trauma she had put in Keisha through since she was a child and even as an adult. But unfortunately, you know, that monkey in her back always seemed to have the stronger pull, you know, sadly. It is, I mean, that's horrible because we do know the way it ends, unfortunately. But what we don't know is uh, 40 decades for you, if somebody does your life story, what is one thing about you? You say you better not leave it out. Oh, my goodness. That's a good question. I've never been asked that before. If somebody did my life story. Um, well, let me say this. Um, I don't know if it's because of my um, outgoing, you know, personality, my exuberance, whatever, I know that people have always seen me in a certain light. And um, I remember when I was doing All My Children, I had a producer once who said, uh, Debbie, do you come from, where was this she asked me, did I come from? Do you come from um, Long Island or something? She asked me and I said, no. I said, I, I was raised in the South Bronx in New York. And she was like, oh, really? And so I think people have looked at me thinking that I've always had this just charmed and idyllic life, <laughs> which nothing could be further from the truth. They could read my autobiography entitled The Monkey on My Back and just see what my journey has been. And so if somebody was doing my life story, it's like, you know, put it all in there, the good and the bad. You know, I hate when people do stories about their life and you could tell that they sugarcoat certain things. And when I wrote my book and I've also performed a one woman show around the country based on the book and people would say, why do you want to tell that? Why are you saying that? And I'm like, if I'm going to share my story, then share.